the religious origin of celebrating that day is that it was considered to be the day on which God was circumcised. That is the original, that is the origin. It was considered to be the day on which God was circumcised. So it was called circumcision, the feast of the circumcision of Christ. That was the original celebration. Feast of the circumcision of Christ. Because based on the assumption, false assumption, that Jesus was born on the 25th, they calculated, according to Jewish tradition, eight days. The eighth day of Jesus' life ended up being, according to their calculations, the 1st of January. So it was called the Feast of the Circumcision of Christ. Christ being God incarnate. God being born on the earth. It was also called the Feast of of the maternity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This was where Mary gave birth to Jesus. So it was also celebrated and given that name. And Mary was called at that time, and she's still called in the, amongst the Catholics, the Mother of God. Mary, the Mother of God. So they were celebrating this day commemorating Mary's giving birth to God and God being circumcised on that day. Now how does that fit into Islamic beliefs? Can we Celebrate with others in such blasphemy? Is it acceptable for a Muslim to participate in such blasphemy? Such heresy? Such evil thoughts and concepts about God? Is that acceptable? Of course not. No more than it is acceptable for us to celebrate the birth of God. So, that day is fundamentally, it remains fundamentally a religious day. The Catholics represent more than 50% of the Christian world. And for them, that day is clearly a religious day. They have a feast of, on that day which, which, is, which commemorates that event, those events about which we spoke. 